What's up guys, Hollywood Dustin Bailey coming back to Huntington, West Virginia on August 19th for Rough and Rowdy 18 to finally defend my middleweight strap. Supposed to fight Bobby Lane, Barstool still pulled that fight. I was offered another guy, he pulled out. Now I'm fighting some tough man named Michael Brown. Y'all know what time it is. Your man's got the belt and I'm coming to get it. And you're not going to stop me. I've seen your fights, they didn't impress me. I don't give a fuck who it is, the result is going to be the same. I'm going to knock him the fuck out. You're not going to want to miss this pay-per-view because I'm on it. Tune in. So this is the this is the guy, Michael Brown, who just got out of prison. And he fought in prison against m multiple men at a time, he said. He's been hit with padlocks, bats in prison, so he isn't scared of a boxing match. I love the sport and want to show other people getting out of prison can still fight in the ring. And your girl's back in the ring. Oh, yeah. Sandy Cheeks. She, I think she's been sent in over and over. She's getting a lot of innings. They know they can rely on her. Con Air, what it was Nick Cage go to prison for? I, we went for manslaughter, manslaughter. Oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah. And that's what he went Yeah, he went there for manslaughter. So there's your answer. Yeah. That's a serious crime. Yeah, no, it is. That's not a, that's he's not a joke of a crime. He, he said he's reformed. So here it is, Michael Make It Happen Brown. Yeah, when they say out of prison recently for Nick Cage, Con Air, that's exactly what they meant. They told yeah. me. Manslaughter now preaches about reform, has a huge following on Facebook, giving out the message. Says, like we said, gone through a lot. And here is, I think I talked with Dustin Bailey after. This he, guy's a very good fighter. Very good fighter. Middleweight champ. He's crawling current into the belt ring. holder. And he's uh, trying to keep his belt here. Great trunks on Hollywood. Yep. Tried to fight Booty Daddy at r, &R 16. Oh. He's friends with Bobby Lang, Shizat, Scary Barry, so he's part of the crew. Yeah. See what we got. They're both coming. Bailey coming right out. Did he get cut? Well, now you, he touched his knee and got right back up. Yeah, he fell. Don't think that's a legal move, but he is back up. Both these guys quick flex muscles right off the bat here. A lot of pushing. I, so far, the blue, the, the Con Air situation, he's coming forward, but though, he's not throwing like punches, really. Yeah. I don't know what those are. Definite reach advantage oh, for Hollywood. Oh, good shot, though. But I don't know. Those don't look like real punches. They're like half jabs. Bailey looks very calm. Kind of a push shot. I think Bailey is measuring him, but who knows? We'll see. Yeah, He's very is... herky jerky. Is make it happen, Brown. Both guys kind of respecting each other, and doesn't really feel like. Oh, a little fake there. Yeah, this is going to be a tough fight for. Uh, I don't make know. it Brown because I, I don't know I, if his reach. I don't know how to score that. I think I got to give it to Blue Corner. I, I never know what they think when the fighters just look at us. Yeah, I know. I don't Sometimes know. Sometimes I think they hate us, but they all like us. I think. Right. We got large, large. Hey guys, I'm here with three elite athletes. Two of them are about to fight for the lightweight belt. We got Night Night versus the Ninja. First the challenger. How do you feel before we get in on this next fight? It's gonna be a good night. I feel comfortable. I love West Virginia. Weather's great. Good night for a good fight. I agree 100%. You're 0-2 against this guy. It's your belt. How do you feel? Well, I'm the champ right now. He's gotta come take it from me. We're gonna go out there, put a show on. This will be one to remember. It's gonna be fighting tonight. I'm hoping. Tune in, guys. We'll be right back. Let's go. Two so, guys Dave, in good shape. Hollywood has uh, four full inches on him. I think that's that's the part. Like, make it Brown or Michael make it happen. Brown. He might have won that first round, but I don't know how he's gonna get. Well, he's coming uh, forward with those like yeah. fast jabs, but yeah. I don't know that they're doing anything. A little clench. Like, if I was Bailey, I'd almost not pay attention to those and just swing through it. Right. Because those aren't really, like, damaging punches. But it's controlling the fight doing it. He is. He's kind of bulldogging him. Very tough to tell what's going on. It's kind of nothing's happening. Very fast twitch, and then it comes in, but it, nothing, nothing thrown with any real anger from Blue. Like fast, fast jab, pop, yep. pop, pop, but nothing yep. behind it. Bailey's punches have more anger, but he's not connecting. 
And he's closing the distance and not letting the guy with the longer reach. Whoa, what was that for? I don't know what happened there. Round three, I don't, I don't know what to make of this fight. Yeah, I don't know. I don't either, Dave. I think it's two guys who know how to box, and like we've said many times, like that sometimes doesn't work for Robert. Yeah, Rodney. I don't know if Mike will make it happen. Brown knows how to box, but he's super active. And he's fast. I am very excited for the next fight. Wayne uh, Nighty Night Woodruff versus Be Brendan Ninja yeah, Kelly. Yeah, after this, we got three fights. We three got fights. The Ninja versus Nighty Night, and then we got Doug's, which the crowd's going to be electric for, versus Steve Primetime Young, America versus Canada, the new greatest rivalry in international geopolitics. And then uh, Alex Million Dollar AB Bennett versus Ashley Cupcake Willis, or Wiles. Wiles? And thank you to our sponsors tonight Dude Wipes, Whistle Pig, Whis Whiskey, Three Chi, and Wood Products. Make it happen is making it happen a little bit here, Dave. Yeah, it's crazy. He's making it happen without making it happen, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Like, he's just a lot of pushing and, and he's just, closing he's, he's the He's commanding distance. the ring yeah. without any real punches. And creating all these clinches, so I, I don't know. Like, he just comes in very quick, gets inside, and then that happens. A lot of clinching. So he came, what was that? He's just like two elbows, not much punching. I, I got to uh, assume Dustin Hollywood Bailey's frustrated with this fight. Yes, very. Because I'm not 100% sure the other guy's fighting. He is fighting, but. His ring is yelling at him feet first over and over, trying to get him to step forward. It's hard. The other guy is just like comes right in close yeah. to the distance. Yeah, nice something there. And that's it. There's a nice little punch at the yeah, end. It's but yeah, it's tough to score that fight. Real tough to score it. Tough to score it. Yeah, I don't know what he said, but it's tough to score that. I, I... Let's see what happens. I think make it happen. Yeah. I think that's the right call, Dave. He, he definitely worked the most there. Robbie Fox here, rough and rowdy commentator and ringside correspondent. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, new videos every week, and go to watchrnr.com for the latest info on our upcoming events and how to find out how you could be the next fighter in the rough and rowdy ring.